Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Here my good friend, Mr. Scott Eats. And today we are in Hartford, Connecticut, outside Bear's Smokehouse. So here I do the legendary, yes, the legendary Bear Witch Challenge. So this is a 10 pound, yes, 10 pound spicy barbecue challenge with ghost pepper sauce, yes. So basically what it is is a almost two loaves of French bread. They call it a loaf and it happens almost two. You then have two pounds of pulled pork, two pounds of brisket, one pound of coleslaw, two pounds of macaroni and cheese, and then it's all doused in a pint and a half. He has a whole pint and a half, so like 20 ounces or 24 ounces, whatever, um, of their grizzly ghost pepper sauce. You do have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. If you do, you do get a $500 cash prize in the meal for free. And if not, you are paying $100 for the sandwich. The challenge has only ever been eaten and beaten four times in its about, I think, 10 or 11 year existence. So it's been around for a long time, not many winners, lots and lots and lots of attempts. And then after the 30 minute time limit or after you complete it, you then have to wait 10 minutes for like an afterburn. So that's about that. Um, Scott, right, looking forward to this, man? Oh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. I'm worried about that spice, but uh, give it a go. Give it a go, really. Yeah. I will say, guys, we're here, kind of like wind in Rome, but we're both actually very, at least I'm afraid of this challenge. This is one that I very much accept and realize I may not complete. And uh, that's about it. So we're just gonna go give it our best, see what we can do. And that's all you can do, guys. So let us go eat. Hi everyone, so here we are with the challenge. It's absolutely massive, I will say. So we did just weigh them. Um, they are both just over 10 pounds. So we have what is, I think, closer to two full loaves of French bread. This is probably like two, at least two feet. We then have the two pounds of mac and cheese back here that is not on the sandwich. Then we have the two pounds of pulled pork, the two pounds of brisket, the pound of coleslaw smothered in their ghost pepper grizzly sauce. Yes, the ghost pepper sauce. That is really what I'm very concerned about. And that, let's get started here just momentarily. Um, so we are ready. The rest, that's, that's pretty, some pretty thick bread to be honest. I am ready, restaurant is ready. All right, 30 minutes guys, hope we get started. We'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Has a bit of heat to it. It tastes good though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Bear's Smokehouse. Yes, Bear's Smokehouse. Trying the legendary Bear Witch Challenge. So this is a very well-known challenge within the eating community, known to be very, very difficult. Not only for the sheer volume being 10 pounds of weight, but also being very, very spicy. Yes, featuring their grizzly ghost pepper sauce. So this is an incredibly large and spicy barbecue sandwich. So as we mentioned, you have all your favorites, like, well, all my favorites at least, pulled pork, brisket, coleslaw, how can you go wrong? So that I knew was going to be awesome, but the grizzly ghost pepper sauce, that was, uh, was what I was worried about. Strategy behind this was pretty much to eat everything that was had the least sauce on it first, and then eat the sauce stuff. It's actually very tasty. I'm trying to eat the portions without the sauce first. The sandwich is served as is for the challenge. You cannot have any substitutions or any changes, and they will not just give you the sauce on the side. They specifically said, and I quote, the sauce needs to be layered and covering like everything. So it, they like layer it on the meats, um, they layer it on the bread. So it all kind of again soaks in and really you basically have to eat it. They make it so, which I mean, I don't really blame them. That's part of the challenge, but they definitely make it that you like have to eat the sauce with you know like covering the food so all the food is going to be sauced or at least partially sauced etc you also had the big serving of macaroni and cheese now that on the other hand was not on the sandwich so there was no sauce on that so also thinking that potentially that very very creamy rich mac and cheese or at least creamy looking mac and cheese could also potentially be a little bit of a saving grace should the spice become a little much to handle Scott and I were not playing around going into this. We were like rocking headphones at first. We were just going to give it full tilt and that's basically what we were doing. 
we knew this was going to be something we had to stick our heads down, really give it our all, give it a good, good, good run, um, in hopes of getting that $500 and the free sandwich, a $100 free sandwich at that. It's got a really nice bite of bread stuff. The meats were tasting really good, and we found that the ghost pepper sauce definitely was building. The more, obviously, food we ate, the more the sauce we consumed, the more uh, spice and more difficulty we were having. I will say that, you know, the sauce, although it was definitely spicy, it's not like it was like straight ghost pepper mash or anything. Woo, baby, heat on that one. It's a lot of food. But it definitely still had some good heat, and it's very difficult to eat a large quantity of spicy items. I find if you're eating a large quantity of items, that's one thing. If you're eating a lot of, or if you're eating spicy things, that's another thing. But combining the two is very difficult, and in fact, it actually usually makes me nauseous. Um, so that was definitely something that we were hoping to not have to deal with today. Uh, we also drank some Pepto before this. We were, like I said, we had all our strategies, and we did not want to play around when we were potentially getting that cash prize. I believe that's pretty much, though, the majority of the information. Uh, comment down below, are you team Mac or team no Mac? I don't really like mac and cheese that much. Scott likes mac and cheese. So comment down below, team Mac, hashtag team Mac, or hashtag no Mac, team no Mac, whatever you please. And at that, let's see what happens. 440 in, it's definitely pretty spicy. My mouth is definitely burning. Well, I'm starting to get a bit of a burn in my stomach too. It's getting harder. Ugh. Starting some of this bread, big loaves. A little tough. Whew. That heat though. He is building. Oh man, that hot sauce is not feeling good in the stomach. Just over eight and a half in. minutes in. 
just like due to the bread, the consistency of it, dipping it makes it like significantly easier to eat. Has a pretty firm crust on it. Mm. Man, this bottom loaf is just dripping. A lot of moisture. Probably a lot more spicy too. Mm. Spicy. Excuse me. Woo! Yeah, this is really hot. Oh man. I'll buy one of you for another Diet Coke, please. Put up no ice. Thank you. Three and a half in, guys. The spicy is kicking my butt. Ooh, it really doesn't feel good in the stomach. Thank you so much. Oh man. But making our way through. Hey, you, Scott. Good. Excuse me. Woo. All right, six and a half minutes in, guys. Whew. My stomach is rocked. I'm dying with the spice. But Scott's absolutely killing it. Well over half done grab. And we both just have this mac and cheese. Oh, so I'm gonna start right now. Oh, man. That's a very rich mac and cheese. Homemade. Although I'm not usually the biggest macaroni and cheese fan, I will say this is a very good macaroni and cheese. And it feels very good to eat this after that friggin' grizzly sauce. That stuff's spicy. It's 
Scott just finishes bread. He's down in the mag. He's gonna be right behind. He's right behind me. He's gonna kill us. Ten minutes. I gotta wait ten minutes after to do this. Alright, I better we finish up. So 10 minutes starts now. That's a lot of food. Spicy, that spice does not agree with my stomach, I'll tell you that much right now. But 10 minutes. And Scott has eight minutes left. Just has to finish a little bit of mac and cheese. He's doing really good. I'm gonna try not to get any spice anywhere that I shouldn't be, but sometimes that's easier said than done. Six and a half minutes left. This guy's doing really, really good. Coming in for that finish. Just down to a couple bites. That's it. stomach, I tell you that much. Good. All right, Scott just finished up as well. So just we're looking, over, uh, looking about 26 minutes. 26 minutes, yeah. So now we're just, Scott is 10 minutes starting now. And I have about, I think, six left. <coughs> Nonetheless, me. we're here, we're in it together. I have 10 minute timer starting. To be honest, my stomach doesn't feel good, and I kind of feel like I'm I like have some fiery shit gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. It feels a little rocked. I'll put it that way. It feels, it feels a little discombobulated a down there. Stuff. Pardon me, sorry. It's a lot of heavy stuff in there. Oof. Yeah.
how many people have beaten it but then failed on the 10 minutes? Uh, so, so, I think four people have completely done it. Okay. And probably another five or six have finished it. And wow. Giving it back up. So, did, was Jamie one of the ones that yeah. finished yeah. The, one of the four? Yeah. So That's yeah. when it was a 45 minute time. Yeah, because we, we watched it, we saw a video of him doing it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. And he did it, it was 45 minutes. Used to be a 45 minute time. So I think I have maybe like three minutes left. Scott has seven. My camera is the battery's about to die, so I'm just gonna pause it here. And I'm just gonna I'll resume it in a second, but anyway, we're like 320 left for Scott, so one momento. Hey everyone, so time's passed. It's actually been like 12 minutes, and then for me, 15. Um, so yeah, we did complete the challenge, it's super cool. So that we did the $500 cash prize and the meal for free, which is sweet. Uh, I will say, huge thanks to all the staff here. They've been very, very, very friendly. They've been very accommodating. Huge kudos to everybody here. We are at the Hartford location again. Uh, but that's about that. Scott, what'd you think of the challenge? Oh, it was so tasty. That's what made it go down nice and easy. Uh, it was a big challenge, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad we got the win, you know? Uh, as I say, you know, a little spicier than, you know, I probably would have eaten in my, my leisure, but I will say the quality of meats, that brisket, that pulled pork was absolutely phenomenal. I do see a gentleman holding some cash here for us. I, uh, I guess we are now granted the prize. Thank you kindly. Thank we you. definitely appreciate you participating. Thank you so much. It's a $500 cash prize oh, for you wow. and 500 for you. Appreciate that. Thank so you kindly. We are now both one of the, or two of the now six winners. There was four winners previously with the challenge. So definitely a very difficult challenge, but uh, that's amazing, guys. Really, really glad we were able to do this. Like I said, as far as food quality, stop on by. Absolutely exceptional. I love barbecue, and this place does it very, very, very well. Kansas City style, in fact. So that everyone, of course, till next time, stay happy, have the hungry, happy eating. That's about it. Check out Julie's.com, grab yourself some merch, and uh, with that, have a lovely day. Look, I can use cash and fan, so. Everyone, so it is 4 a.m. We are at PVD Airport here in Providence. Dropping Scott off, head back home. I'm gonna be down here for a little bit longer. Mr. Scott, thanks for coming, man. Thanks for joining. How uh, how are things? How was the trip? Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, it was an awesome trip. I mean, I feel like I just got here. Uh, we did a lot, a lot of amazing challenges. I uh, hope you guys get to see them all. Uh, just, yeah, thanks for having me, man. It, uh, Dude, absolutely. It was an absolute pleasure. Oh. I guess, what, six days? Six days? Six full days, yeah. yeah. Six full days, six busy days. It has been uh, literally almost a year since we had seen each other last, literally like 11 full months. Um, so it's crazy how that flew because it seemed not that long in a way, but yet it was like... Time is so weird over the last while, I don't really know. But uh, hey man, like I said, safe trip home. Great to see you. Uh, until next time, of course they have you all the hungry. But uh, no man, we'll see each other sooner and later. Awesome. Probably probably back in Canada, I would assume, but you never know, maybe we'll be in the States. But man, just what a, what a freaking time. And, I mean, Crazy we did, time. Yeah, we had some monumental events, challenges. I mean, we did the Bear Witch, we had some contests. Any particular moments that stand out? We would do crazy buffets. No, I, I don't know if any one moment, it just started off with a crazy, you know, at the ice cream challenge, uh, ended off with, you know, the last day with the Bear Witch and uh, that all you can eat seafood, steak, just crazy, crazy buffet. Crazy. Uh, and it was all, all, all great. And uh, so thanks for having me out. Hey, man. Well, like I said, everybody, thanks so much. Appreciate you. Until next time, Scott. Love you, brother. And uh, have right. a safe flight.